This is Remy with the Road Hard Roadhouse. Today, I need to move this big old Jeep around the shop. Let's get this thing started. Today on the Road Hard Roadhouse, putting together some of these Harbor Freight Pittsburgh uh, vehicle dollies. Let's get it started. These are the Pittsburgh, which this is the brand from Harbor Freight, 1,500 pound vehicle dollies. There's a two piece set. Open it up. I've already moved this a little bit, so. But this is what you get. You get the four wheels, uh, casters. You put on this. This is a lot. Seems to be a lot thicker than the last set I got from uh, Harbor Freight. And you got two sets. So let's put these things together and uh, get started. So the tools you're going to need today are a uh, ratchet and the thing is three quarters, three quarters for the acorn nut, and then. I was not able to use a 7 8 wrench on the underneath side of it because it would get too tight and lock up my uh, 7 8 wrench underneath it. I used a uh, 15 16 to kind of, uh, it was kind of loose in there, but it did the job. You have two locking swivel casters, and you have two non locking swivel casters. So, for the purpose of this one today, I'm going to put the swivel casters in the front, the locking swivel casters in the front so I can uh, use this to pull out if I need to. Now I'm rather disappointed in the fact that you put, it, the directions say that it comes with the acorn nut, the caster and then this locking washer. But it came with a bunch of these flat washers and you get to figure out why here in a second. Because technically, you're gonna need to put one washer underneath. The locking washer, then the acorn. difficulty part of this was the fact that this is three quarters, the acorn nut, and then this nut here is seven eighths. Well, if you put a seven eighths um, wrench underneath here, and then you tighten this, your wrench is now stuck. So unless you have some really thin wrenches, these are Craftsman, but uh, if you have some thin wrenches, maybe it'll work a little bit better. What I ended up having to do is use a 15 16 to be able to just slide it in there barely. And then tighten it up. Because the 15 16 is so loose in there, it's able to do it for you. Takes you what about less than five minutes to put that thing together real easy to put together uh, as far as uh, doing a review on it I'll do a review on it afterwards if you can see I've got one there on my Jeep I got the ones that were 1500 pounds instead of the uh, 1000 pounds um, to hopefully make it hopefully they'll be a little bit better than the last ones I had uh, they have a handle on it, as you can see here. My other ones didn't have a handle. Um, but so far, it looks like it's a pretty good uh, setup here. It looks like it's powder coated gray. Like I did say, they had washers in there that you're going to need to put on. I don't know why they didn't uh, put it in the directions, but I'll put a picture of the uh, directions right now.
Thank you all for watching the Road Hard Road. I always like putting a picture of the directions in there in case yours did not come with directions. Once again, we're sponsored by Speedy's Industrial Coatings. They sent me this t-shirt. Any media blasting or powder coating of any sort that you need, big or small, Speedy's will take care of it all. I'll do a review of these at a later date. But right now they moved my big one-ton axle Jeep around the garage like it's nothing. So I appreciate everybody for watching, liking, subscribing, and as always, if you're right or hard, don't put it away. Right? Appreciate the sponsorship from Speedy's in Ozark, Missouri. If you need anything done as far as powder coating, let them know. They'll take care of it. Big or small, they'll do it all. And also, tell them that Road Hard Roadhouse sent you.